This video is on functions, yay or nay. We're going to actually be putting everything together with functions. We're going to be determining if the graph or the table is a function. And then we're going to determine what the domain and range are in interval notation. So interval notation are the brackets with the infinities, not the inequalities. Our first example is a graph. So we're going to determine if it is a function. Remember to determine if it's a function of a, gra a graph is a function, we look for the vertical line test. Any vertical line that we were to graph on here would only touch this graph one time. Any vertical line I graphed would only cross it once. That means that this is a function. Because it passes the vertical line test. Now to determine the domain and range, the domain I'm going to be focusing on the left and the right. I'm going to be using my blue highlight for domain. So I find my farthest left point, which in this case on this graph is the arrow. And I'll find the point on the farthest right, which in this case is also an arrow. When there are arrows, there are infinities. So the arrow on the far left is the negative infinity and the arrow on the far right is positive infinity. That means that our domain, so I'm going to put D colon our domain, is open bracket, negative infinity, comma, positive infinity, open bracket. Because again, infinity is never actually reached. We'll do the same thing with the range, but I'm going to use pink. I want the lowest value to the highest value. So on the range, I find the lowest point on the graph, which will also be that arrow. And then I will find the highest point on the graph, which will also be this arrow. Arrows mean infinities. The arrow pointing down will take us to that negative infinity. And the arrow pointing up will take us to that positive infinity. Therefore, our range is open bracket, negative infinity, comma, positive infinity, open bracket. It is a function, and our domain and range are negative infinity to positive infinity. If I move over to this example, I want to determine it first since it's a graph, if it's a function, so I use a vertical line test. This vertical line will cross it once, 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 once. Anywhere I put a vertical line, it would only cross it once. So this is a function because it passes the vertical line test. Now to determine the domain. Domain I'm going to put in blue. So the farthest left point is this arrow. The farthest right point is this arrow. The left arrow means negative infinity and the right arrow means positive infinity. Our domain for this example is open bracket, negative infinity, comma, positive infinity, open bracket. The range, I'm using pink. I need my lowest value, my lowest coordinate. So because the arrow is going to go down, down, but then back up, it's not actually pointing down. The lowest coordinate here is right there on that very bottom because of the shape of the graph is going to keep going. It is a uh, sine or a cosine curve, a trigonometric function. Then we want the highest y value, which we have two locations. It doesn't matter which one we do because they're in the same y value. So I'll just go from to that one. And we write out what those y values are. This y value is at a negative one, two, is that negative two. This y value is at a positive two, one, two. And because on both the blue, even on the blue, if I can go from blue along my graph to blue without picking up my pen, it is a continuous graph. From pink to pink without picking up my pencil is a continuous graph. So the range in this case will go from the smallest is negative two and it will go to positive two. 
and they are closed brackets because they are hitting that negative 2 and that positive 2, and it's including them. On this next example, if I were to draw a vertical line anywhere along here, this ver any vertical line will only hit the graph once. It is a function. The domain, the farthest left side is the arrow. The farthest right is the arrow. I can go from blue to blue without picking up the pin, so it is a continuous graph. The left arrow is the negative infinity. The right arrow is positive infinity. For our domain is open bracket, negative infinity, comma, positive infinity, open bracket. The range the lowest y value or the lowest point on the graph is honestly anywhere on this line is the lowest y value. But that also is the highest y value as well, so I only have to highlight once. This y value is at a negative 4. I only have one thing to highlight, I only have one number. That means that our range is just one value, it's at negative 4. So it starts at negative 4, and it stops at negative 4. This next example, a vertical line, if I draw a vertical line, it will only cross this graph once. So this is a function. Now for the domain, the farthest left is this open circle. The farthest right is this closed circle. The farthest left x value is that negative 4. Remember the domain is the x's, so only focus on the x's. This right side is at about 2 and a half. 2 and a half. We can go from blue to blue along the graph without picking up our pencil. So that means our domain starts at negative 4 and it goes to 2 and a half. It is open at the negative 4 but then closed at that 2 and a half. For the range, I'm going to have my lowest point which is also this open circle and my highest point which is also this closed circle. So in pink, I'm going to say the y values. This coordinate, the open circle, that y value is at that negative 2. And at the highest point, that y value is at a positive 3. So from pink to pink along the graph, you do not have to pick up your pen. So the range is going from negative 2 to positive 3. It is open at that negative 2 and closed at that positive 3. We have functions, and we have our domains and ranges.